What is going on, guys? It's your boy Apathy, and today I'm going to be showing you all the best pro classes. And we're going to be going over respawn and, of course, search and destroy. Even though you can kind of use both at the same time, we're going to go a little bit in depth. So let's get right into it. So before we get into classes, we're going to talk about the first thing, which is field upgrades. And we're going to go straight into it. Death Silence is the best one and the one you should be using, especially in search and destroy, but even in respawn. Footsteps are very loud. They can be really annoying. It's hard to make plays when you do not have Dead Silence. So Dead Silence is like almost a must and most map. But also pro players tend to use a trophy system. Trophy systems are really good, especially in hardpoint or even in domination when you're holding setups. So you want to have like one or two teammates usually running a trophy on your team for that reason. They can be really, really good and effective. But if you're playing Search and Destroy, you should probably stick to Dead Silence. Or if you're a playmaker, a sub player, usually you want to stick to Dead Silence. All right, guys. So for my classes, I have five classes and I titled them Main, Other Main, Rush, Slow AR, Fast AR. So let's get right into the first one, which is my MP5 class. I'm a main sub player, so I mainly like to run my MP5. And this is a really good MP5 class, and it's one that I've been using a lot lately. I've test stuff. I switch stuff all the time, guys, with so many different customizations you can do. Like, it's only going to happen. So we got the uh, the close quarter stock, which I really like. We got the 1MW laser, the Merc 4 grip, the 10MM, which is a must, and the stipple grip tape. Now, the 1MW laser, which increases your hip fire accuracy, and then you got the Merc 4 grip, 4 grip, which does the same. It's actually really good when it comes to hip firing, and it's just a very dominant subclass. It has very low recoil, and it's very, very good at hip firing, which can like win a lot of gunfights. I'm also running an M19 pistol. Now, for detachments, I got the XR. K V extended the one MW laser match grade trigger stippled and FMJ. Uh, I like to use no attachments gonna reduce my movement speed as you can see. And here's the reason why. So if you guys don't know, this is actually kind of hidden. A lot of people don't know this. The pistol actually has faster mobility than the combat knife. As you can see in the mobility bar, the pistol actually runs faster. The knife actually has negative. Now, the reason the combat knife is actually really good is it has a further distance with a uh, tactical sprint with double sprinting. So even though the, the pistol is faster, the, the knife can run at a longer distance if you have it out. So this is the main class I run my pistol on. And then we got the EOD. Uh, obviously, you want to be able not to die from nades when you're in the hill, when you're the, capturing the objective, or just randomly, which is very annoying. And they have five other players on the team throwing tacticals. We got Point Man, which is the only one you can really use in competitive. We got Battle Harden, which basically helps negate those tacks. Double time as my first two kills, just because I think double time is really nice. Then I got tune up, of course, because that really helps build your dead silence or trophy, whatever field order you have. And then scavenger just to get that extra ammo when you're running low. And then I have a semtex, which allows me to play a little faster because, you know, having a frag takes longer to cook. You have to throw it around. Uh, it can take longer unless you just throw dead nades, which don't always work. And then I got a smoke grenade. Uh, I am the smoker on my team, so I do use smoke grenades. I think smoke grenades are really, really awesome with subs. It allows you to, to cut off cuts. Allows you to make ARs useless in certain positions, and it's really nice. So if you're a sub player, you probably want to have one on. Now for my other main MP5 class, as you can see, it's basically the same thing, except I have a combat knife in this one and some and different attachments. These were actually the attachments I, were, I was running before, uh, like a couple days ago. And I got Commando 4 Grip instead of Merc 4 Grip, and I got the FTAC Collapsible. Now, here's why this class is really good. As you can see, the Collapsible gives you a huge movement boost. And the mobility gets increased by a lot. So this class is very, very fast. I really like this class. I, I'm still testing both of them out, to be honest. With Command of 4 Grip, you, you get some increase with aiming stability and recoil stabilization. So it's not that bad. It's honestly, and the only negative thing about this is the movement speed. And you gain a huge movement speed boost out of this. So it almost negates the commando as if there's no con to it. So I really like this class as well. This is more of a faster, aggressive class. And then for my rush subclass, which is basically same attachment, same everything. But instead, I'm running double time and a combat knife. Now, this is like basically this class, but just with a knife and double time. And the reason I have this class is mainly off breaks. You want to get somewhere very fast. This is more of a starting class. This is a good class to have just to start off and get to your position or wherever you're trying to go quickly and as fast as possible because it's really just a race to where you want to go off the break. I also can use this class if I want. If I feel like I am I need double time on, if I'm feeling slow, like EOD slows you down a bit. Double time obviously allows you to sprint more and get to places faster, especially with that combat knife. You got to be careful when you have that combat knife out though because you don't want to get caught lacking. But overall, like this is a class I can run. Let's say I'm feeling like we need more pressure. I need, a, I need to up my pace a bit. I can pull this class out and I do have EOD as my first specialist score streak. So if I get two kills, you know, if I'm doing well, I get two kills and I have EOD on. So it's all fine. Like, I can get naded as easy. Of course, I got to rock bot Battle Hardened as a rush class because you don't want to get flashed or stunned or slowed down off the break. Now, let's hop into my ARs. So we got the M4. The M4 is the best AR right now. And these are my attachments. So this is my slow AR class. We got the Compensator Commando combination, which is like 
one of the most best combinations you have in this game. We got the stock M16 Grenader. Um, very nice damage, range boost, bullet, ve bullet velocity, recoil control. And then we got the mini reflex. I really personally like the mini reflex. Some people like to use the Viper reflex site, but it has like a green like background. So I don't really like it that much. In my opinion, like the mini reflex is my favorite. It's more of a, like a faster reflex, like a smaller. It's like more for aggressive play styles. And that's how I play. So I like that. We got the stippled. So this is a really nice, basically slower AR class. Like it's still like slightly fast because you still have like good attachments but it's more for a, a slower play style. Then we got the combat knife, of course. So you can put on that pistol. Like I said, the M19 pistol is really good. Like I said, it has faster movement speed. The only, the only difference is it doesn't run as far as the knife can, but I personally like the pistol. I might eventually switch all my stuff to pistols because I like having that extra gun when I run out of ammo. Like it happens a lot. And then, yeah, the knife can come in handy. You can, you know, end up knifing a guy or camp in a corner. You get like a nice knife kill. It occasionally helps, but I feel like the pistol would be more consistent with it and i'll be able to get more kills so i might eventually switch but for now i got that combat knife for my perks i got eod point man bottle harden double time tune up as these two usually when i have these three double time and tune up are my next two and four but these are double time is more important i feel like tune up like it helps you get like death silence or trophies faster but realistically like i mean this is really personal preference like if you think you want that silent tomorrow trophy more often, then you should you could switch it up. It's not really it's really up to you in the end of the day. I personally really love double time, so that's why I, I prioritize double time over tune up. I usually use these ARs on bigger maps. So having that frag grenade to toss over buildings, toss over long distances, like it's really nice. So that's why I run a frag grenade on these two ARs. So the only difference between these two ARs, as you can see, they have the exact same everything: perks, secondary, lethals, tacticals. But the only difference is the attachments. And this is my fast AR class. And I'm going to show you why. So for my barrel, I run the Corvus Marksman. Uh, when you try to compare these two, the only difference is the mobility. So basically, the stock M16 Grenader will give you an increase in accuracy, range, control, all three of those things. It gives you a slight increase, but you lose more mobility. But the Corvus gives you that extra mobility. It still does the same thing but takes away all the other three and gives you that extra mobility. And then of course, I'm still rocking the compensator commando combo. It's just very, very, very good. You should want to run that combo. It's probably one of the best combos you can have in this gun or in the game. Then I got the stipple grip tape, which is a very nice in general attachment, aim down side speed, sprint to fire speed. Not many attachments give you that sprint to fire speed. And then I'm running no stock. Now, no stock is a no stock. Uh, it's a very good, stock but to know it's called no stock and it gives you that movement speed increase and that aim down side speed increase uh i really like this one obviously you can just use this aim down side speed one but the no stock uh obviously gives you that huge boost in mobility which is sort of similar to the mp5 with the collapsible as you can see the green bar gives you a nice big boost so it makes the ar like a lot more faster so it's really nice to use um no stock in here now this class of course is going to have a little bit more recoil compared to the other one uh, especially that no stock gives you a little bit more recoil but in general like this is a very good fast ar class if you're trying to be more aggressive more in people's faces it's a very good running gun all right guys so this is basically the basic five classes people are running right now like when it comes to sub and ar mp5 and m4 are the best two guns in the game right now the only two that can sort of compete with them in their in their division is probably the mp7 and the kilo but these are just more dominant right now. Maybe you can see those guns being used once they get these guns get nerfed a bit. So I haven't really talked much about Search and Destroy. But I do what I do want to say is that these are basically the same classes you can run in Search and Destroy. So Search and Destroy, it's there's no, it's not a big difference right now. You can obviously like change attachments slightly, change some perks slightly. But for the most part, these are basically like respawn classes are basically Search and Destroy classes. With the only difference is you make sure you have death, death silence as the field order. Something I do want to say, though, that I feel I can recommend is that for your perk three and search and destroy, most of the time, at least for now, you want to have tune up and tune up will help you get dead silence without getting a kill, without doing anything. You will get dead silence some point in the round, even if it's the things that zero. It might take you 45 seconds, might take you a minute, but you will eventually get it and then you can make a play. So that's why tune up right now is really good in search and destroy until they maybe change that silence and buff it, nerf it. I don't know. They have a lot of plans. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, we've seen some good updates. We've seen some bad updates. So we don't know what's really going to happen until then. Tune up is really good. Uh, usually this is the class I mainly run for search. Um, usually I like to run a combat knife because in start of search rounds, you're rushing. You're rushing to a certain spot. You're being aggressive. It's like what I was talking about, the combat knife. The combat knife is really good to get 
if you're trying to get somewhere quick you want to run a combat knife if you're just going to do something slow then you can run a pistol if you want but yeah basically what i'll run is a mp5 um, m19 eod point man tune up and then a semtex of smoke i also tend to like run frag grenades and search and destroy just because you can throw pre-nades and like farther nades than general than a semtex can so that's the really nice thing about it all right ladies and gentlemen so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video these are all the best classes you can use right now there's still so much things you could customize when it comes to weapons but like us pros have been testing a lot of these things i feel like these are probably the most dominant attachments combined together but you're probably gonna see for months like different attachment combinations just try them out you run them use them go dominate tournaments wagers pubs whatever you want be a best better player be the best in the world and go get it baby this has been your boy after you make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm out peace